Hi there, my name is Santi Fox. Who am I? Well, I'm a Finnish American director and photographer. Welcome to my new show, Close Securing the World, a limited series where I travel around the world learning about tech, cybersecurity, and answering the big questions that come to my mind as I travel. I'm definitely not an expert in cybersecurity, but as WitSecure's co-creator, I now have a chance to learn from the best. Everybody's talking about cloud transformation. It's already been a big topic in the IT industry for a decade. And according to research, over 95% of digital workloads will be deployed on cloud native platforms by 2025. That's all great with me. But what about the security of the cloud? That's my big question for today. Who on earth is responsible for securing the cloud? No, not that cloud. WitSecure is partnering in the South African market with a company called IOCO. But as you can see, I'm not in South Africa, but in Oxford, England. Richard Vester is the managing director for UK and Europe, and as a cloud expert, he knows what's up. He and his company are actually doing something about securing the cloud. Let's find out more. What are some of the parallels between cycling and cybersecurity? Interesting question. If I think about this, you know, cycling, there's a science around creating a frame, you know, the type of carbon fiber that goes into it, uh, the type of shocks, the type of wheels, you know, ensuring that it's a certain weight or it must be as light as possible. But there, there's a, there is a science around it. But there's equally a science around bike setup. I look at the setup of a bike, which allows you to maximize your power output uh, when you're going up a hill and those types of things. I liken that to cybersecurity and how we actually go through an assessment with the customer. Because you go through an assessment when you're setting up your bike, we're going through an assessment with the customer when we're looking at the the state of their security across the entire environment and their, and their network. What characterizes you and, or how would you describe yourself? I love cybersecurity, entrepreneurial, most importantly working with the team, uh, very much a team player. Organizations don't thrive without great people in them uh, and that's something that I'm passionate about. When did you first realize you wanted to have a career in cybersecurity? So I went into the information technology space around 98 and I think I didn't choose cybersecurity, kind of chose me. Uh, everything that I've done in my career around technology with a very strong cloud computing flair uh, and drive. Why do you love what you do for, for a living? It's not something that is just stagnating. There's always something new that's happening, especially in the, if we look at the broader cloud space and, and uh, the application space and security, how that really runs through everything that we do. There's always something new happening, whether it be in the technology space, whether it be in the Hansen space, whether it be a new vulnerability, whether it be a new type of attack that we're seeing in the market. And I think that is what allows myself and many of my colleagues to wake up in the morning and feel inspired. Let's talk about my big question in cybersecurity. Who is responsible for securing the cloud? So it depends on which cloud you're in. If you take a, a, a private cloud, as an example, where organizations have their own data centers, they have their own infrastructure, in that scenario, you would find that a lot of organizations would actually run and secure their own platforms. Uh, they may well ask for a managed services provider to go and manage it for them, but typically, a lot of organizations do have the skill to, to do that. Then you move into more of a hosted cloud type environment where you take an organization like IOCO, where we would actually provide the right types of security uh, design assessments, monitoring, in order to manage and secure the customer's uh, applications in that particular type of cloud. Depending on the type of application, database, or service that you're procuring from AWS, AWS would take the right controls in order to ensure patch management and the database where the application is actually patched and secure for you as a customer. But in other instances, if you were just moving your applications into a traditional EC2 instance in AWS, you would be liable then, or you would have to take control and be responsible for how you manage the security in that space. What are the biggest challenges in uh, shared responsibility in terms of uh cloud security? So the biggest challenge is if you don't have a defined line around who is going to be managing what, you could very quickly end up in a situation where you have finger pointing, which is not really going to help anybody except for the person that's actually hacking your, your network and monetizing your data for you. So I think making sure that the right service level agreements are in place to ensure that 
the customer is never going to be at risk. That is the priority for any provider when it comes to cybersecurity. What does good partnership mean to you? Ticking the boxes and being 100%. What is great partnership for me is working with an organization like with Secure. Many partner companies, OEMs, software vendors, are, are very one-sided. They're looking to the reseller to bring their customers along and they'll maximize the revenue, but they don't always give something back to those organizations or to those the, the partner companies. And with Secure has really proven that they're not just a typical cybersecurity organization. Uh, and that's why we enjoy working with them, for that very reason. Let's think about the future of this entire industry. If you could change one thing and one thing only in the next three years, what would that be? In three years time, I'd hope that the use of AI was a lot more uh, prevalent. Uh, I think there is some amazing work being done in that space. I don't think we use artificial intelligence enough in what we're doing. We're seeing a, a big growth in, in the digital space. And if organizations are wanting to digitally transform uh, their organizations, their applications, moving into more of a hyperscale cloud type platform, I think uh, leveraging what the likes of with Secure, uh, maybe the hyperscalers like AWS and other large cloud providers uh, can bring in the AI space will make organizations move to the next level. Uh, and I think that's really what I'm looking forward to over the next couple of years. Richard, how do you think business changes when you treat your business partners and your peers on an equal playing field? I think business becomes a lot more successful. Uh, if, you, you, if you treat everybody equally, I think you'll have more success. Everybody will uh, align. Uh, they'll be all galloping in the same direction with the same goals. And I think it's a great way to do business. Uh, you become closer, not necessarily uh, best friends, but equals good. Being actionable is the only way we can close secure the world. Let's put selfish agendas aside and work together for a more secure future. My journey continues to the next big question. Let's co-secure the world.